Hi, this is Jesse Barkasy. It is April 21st, 2012, and it's a little windy, so I'm going to try to talk loud. But I want to explain a little bit about the juicing um, because a lot of people don't understand um, how the raw foods and the juicing works. So I'm going to give you a little bit better explanation here. And um, pretty much I'll give you, uh, show you the pulp that came out of the last juice we made. So here's the pulp. Let me get it in the sunlight a little bit. Okay, so that's the pulp, and you can see this is uh, this is about 14 apples, seven carrots, and one lemon. Okay, and I have some of the juice left here that I'm drinking now. There's some of the juice. I put the carrots in a separate one, so my kids have a little bit more. But I'm gonna take a little walk. Um, anyway, so here's the there's the pulp. And what happens is when you eat cooked foods, like you're eating a steak or a sandwich or something processed like cereal or pasteurized like milk, you, the nutrition that you need, the vitamins and the enzymes are pretty much killed because they cook it. So if you eat a steak that's, you know, I don't know, big as my hand, okay? You're only getting this much nutrition, this little part of the finger, okay? You're only getting a little bit of nutrition. Or say, um, I'll go over to this rock here. Say you're, you eat something, a little roast, that's big as this rock here. Well, you're going to only get just a little bit of nutrition out of that. Maybe, not even that. Out of that big roast, you'll maybe absorb this much nutrition. And a lot of that would be just fat. Okay, because in the human system... We're not like the meat-eating animals where the food passes through them in two hours. So they only absorb maybe 10% of the fat. We'll absorb a lot more, 50, 80% of the fat that we're not meant to absorb. But the nutritious part is all killed. So you're only absorbing 10, 15, or maybe 5% of that food. So when you make a juice out of... You know, whatever it is, spinach, carrots, apples. I make, you know, apple, lemon a lot and fruits. You're getting the full nutrition minus a little bit of the fiber of that juice. So, for example, let's say this piece of wood here is a juice. You'll absorb the whole thing. Okay, there'll be water in there. So that cleanses the system. But minus the water... It's all nutrients. So when you eat an apple or you eat fruits and vegetables, the fiber is hard to process, okay? So it makes your body tired. But a long, long time ago, before cooking was even invented, people just ate. They didn't cook. They just picked it up off the ground, just like these dandelions. Okay, you pick it. Eat it. Okay, dandelion leaf. They do that all day. Maybe 10 or 15 pounds of nutrition that you needed. Okay, so that's be their job, to pick all day in a tropical climate. When people moved north and changed, they, they cooked foods to release the calories, number one, and to be able to store them for use at a time when foods weren't growing. So, we got a problem. We got a man-made incidence causing us to absorb nutrition for energy, but not for the building blocks and the cleansing and the growing of our cells. Okay? And a lot of people will say, well, you know, I'd, I'd like, you know, to talk about veganism because I'm getting close to being there. I'm not quite there, but I'm 90% more eating vegetarian raw foods than I was maybe a year ago and I feel much better I mean any soreness in my body that I used to have where I thought I thought when I sat down that you know you get sore from sitting down a long time I could sit down a long time and I don't get sore I don't want to sit down but when I have to sit down at my desk and do work so getting back on track here we have the man-made of cooking of foods causing major problems People are just absorbing a lot of things and 
from cooking the foods, there's a lot of toxins that are created. Your body has to process and eliminate those toxins. So, when you juice, and you know, you get, you get for example, an orange might have three, four, or 500 phytochemicals and nutrients. They're discovering more and more every day. So, you get the orange juice, and once it's cooked, you're only getting... You're only getting 10 to 20 phytochemicals and phytonutrients. Well, what are phytochemicals and phytonutrients? Those are enzymes. Those are nutrients that bring the sugars and the energy and break down properly the nutrients of the foods you're eating. And even when you're cooking a meat, the animal usually will kill another animal and eat it when it's alive. Unless it's a scavenger, then their bodies are built to take the decaying uh, flesh. So, what I say to you is, when you, if you can start juicing, over time, it will build up into your system. Your body will start getting the proper nutrients. And then other people will say, well, what about protein? What about protein? Well, all these vegetarian animals eat just grass and graze. Gorillas don't eat protein, and yet they're strong and they have muscles. Because your body magically transforms amino acids, sugars, carbohydrates to what it needs, amino acids to protein. So what happens is the enzymes go into your body, break it down properly, and your body, yeah, sort of like magic, turns the nutrients into what you need. Your eyes, your energy, your cells, your thoughts, you know, helps you generate your thoughts in while you're living in this body I'm not going to get to the spiritual realm but I do believe the living of the plant has some sort of spiritual properties too that make you feel more calm less stressed out less depressed and then there's the factor of eating an animal who has just been killed you know there is a possibility if that animal has lived a lousy life that there are certain things in the intra supercellular level that can be absorbed into your system cause depression I believe that in a way you know starting to grow on me that idea but the reality is when you take a juice that is natural and fresh and living and you juice it in a juicer instead of taking a juice that is pasteurized you will absorb most of it when you take a pasteurized juice, like an orange juice, oops, getting a phone call here. When you drink a, I'll let that go away for a second. When you drink an orange juice that is cooked, what will happen is you'll keep wanting to drink more and more. People want to keep drinking more and more of orange or apple juice. And what happens is they think they're getting the proper nutrients. So they keep drinking it, drinking it, and they'll gain weight. When you drink the natural juice, you get all the nutrients. You can drink one or two cups or a quart, and the next thing you know, you'll be satisfied. That's because you're getting the proper nutrients, and you don't have to eat the rest of the day. And what I would say to people who do not want to give up meat, lower it by 90% and drink a juice every time, a fresh juice, every time after you eat like if you have to eat a sandwich or something with meat on it because at least the enzymes will help you break down that food and it'll help you to keep your body cleansed and to push the toxins out of your system but the reason why people have super energy on juice is because they drink a lot of it okay when you, if you have to eat 15 pounds of fruits and vegetables to have a normal amount of nutrients, nutrients, we don't graze all day anymore. So you drink the juice of five or 10 pounds of fruits and vegetables. You'll get the nutrients minus the fiber. There's enough fiber in there where it'll clean you out. But you know the chewing's not there, and chewing relieves stress, and there's a lot of other things. But you just can't do it today because you would just be eating all day. So that's why juicing is important. So if you can get that, and I, I'll do another video, maybe a little bit more, uh, I'll make an order out of it 
to make it a little better, but uh, pretty much get the proper nutrition. When you're eating cooked and processed foods, you're basically just like eating paper. You might absorb a teeny bit of nutrients, a little bit of nutrients, but you have to eat all awful lot, and that's why people get tired. That's why these juice people that drink, you know, half a gallon or a gallon of juice a day, they can run marathons, they're constantly moving, they're, they're, you know, their weight is down, they're, they're, a, they're a good weight, they're not fat. That's the reason why. And I'm starting to feel it to a big degree since I've been juicing every day just about for a year and three months. I juiced a couple of days a week before that, on and off. And when I was a child, my parents had me do juicing, but really feeling the difference as I do it every day. And now it's time to up the game. So that's my little speech about how juicing works and how it can help you. It's gonna make you wanna move. It's gonna make you wanna lose weight. It's gonna make you not hungry. And you're gonna feel just like moving. You're getting the proper energy. Okay, so if you wanna eat, you still like steaks and all that, you're gonna eat a big amount. All you're doing is eating this big amount of chunks of junk that's not working in your body. And your body has to process it and push it out. It has to go through your bloodstream, process it, push it out. Instead of taking a nice fresh juice, wham, absorbing it, Getting all those nutrients, all that energy, all that absorption. I mean, there's a few things, you know, you need a little bit of sun a couple times a week. Not too much, because there's not much vitamin D in foods. But your, your body brings things down to a negated level. What I mean by that is it turns nutrients and sugars and, and compounds with the enzymes into things that you need. So it's like magic. You eat it and it turns it into things you need and you absorb it. But when it's cooked, when it's processed, a lot of it's destroyed. Just like if you put an engine in a heat heat furnace and melted a lot of the parts. The engine wouldn't work properly. You could use some of the parts. You could take them apart, and it's very difficult. And it would cause you a lot of energy. And that's what it does by eating cooked and processed foods. So, as you can see, I don't even want to sit still. I usually do these videos standing still, and I'm like, I never want to sit still anymore. So that's the energy you get from juicing. And I'll give you a little bit more. I hope this helps to motivate you for the reasons why you juice. And uh, there's that amount. You could also eat 15 pounds of fruits and vegetables. That's a really good way. But the problem is you're going to have to digest it and it takes some energy away. Okay, have a great day. I hope this helps for uh, teaching you a little bit about juicing. Have a great day. Thank you.